My guest today, Rob Dapkowitz, Vice President of Civilian Public Sector AT&T. Rob, welcome to the program. Thank you. My other guest is Don Parenti, Assistant Vice President, Engineering and Architecture for Public Sector AT&T. Don, welcome back to the program. Yeah, thank you. When you talk about the need for ubiquitous coverage, you talk about the need for anywhere, anytime, data movement. FirstNet is, is the prime candidate for all of that. So maybe, Rob, give us a little bit of an update on FirstNet, and then let's talk what this actually means to the federal government more broadly, because I, I know from past conversations, I walked in thinking this is a state and local issue, but it's, it's really not. We're very proud to have been selected to partner with FirstNet to deliver the first dedicated uh, first responder network. And as part of that, we have an obligation to deploy that network um, for our first responders in a very expeditious time frame. We have an obligation to, to build a dedicated core, separate core from our current mobility network. In addition to that, we've been granted access to 20 megahertz of, of band 14 spectrum. It allows us to penetrate deep into metro areas and, and et cetera. And it also allows us to expand in, in rural areas. We have a lot of agencies, whether those are, um, let's call them the fire jumpers that work um, for USDA, they're, they're deemed primary first responders. They provide a, a very specific and meaningful service in times of crisis. Those uh, agencies will have the opportunity to use FirstNet. Don, talk a little bit about the, the FirstNet piece, but more broadly the survivability piece of what it means to have a network that can, if you have a hurricane, if you have a, a man-made disaster or a natural disaster, that the network can continue to live. Absolutely. There's, um, there's no doubt that sort of the hardening of the network, some of that work is taking place as part of, as part of the FirstNet build, uh, for sure. Our network, in general, the, the actual wireline core that brings those towers back to the various you know, customers that need to connect into it, the core itself, the, the, wire, the wireline core, is designed for five nines availability. What does that mean? It's 99.999% available, which is amazing. When you engineer a network for resiliency, you obviously get a better experience. When you start to harden the edges, uh, you have a better experience. Uh, but also one of the things that, that we've always operated, part of our core business, uh, is the, the whole notion of deployables. And we're, and we're ramping that up in a major way with, uh, with FirstNet. But we've always had these tractor trailers that, that have all the equipment you'd ever need to recreate uh, an AT&T office on the fly. And we roll those trucks out and, and we can reestablish connectivity for all the customers, uh, whether they're government or business, so that they can continue to do their mission and get the job done. And there are many examples of where we brought those trailers in last year. Think about what happened in Puerto Rico, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, hurricane, epicenter of that hurricane hit. Communications were out. We w launched a, a group of folks down there and we actually employed the use of drones uh, to improve or provide cell coverage. When you think about FirstNet, when you think about our national disaster recovery capabilities, don't forget we also have these other capabilities mm -hmm. like cell on wheels and now cell on wings that will allow us to fill in those blanks or uh, an established communications in times of need.